In this video, we will be applying Kramer's rule to solve a system of three equations with three unknowns. Now to begin, we need to rewrite our equations so that the constants are on the right side of the equal mark and the variables are on the left. So this equation would become 2x minus 4y plus z equals, and then moving this over to the right side, that's a positive 19. Our second one would be 4x plus 6y minus z equals and then when I move my positive 15 to the right side, it becomes negative 15. And then my third equation is x plus y plus 2z equals, and then this negative 11, when I move it to the right side, becomes a positive 11. Now I'm going to write the determinants that I'll be needing. Determinant D, I'm defining as the determinant that has just the coefficients of the variables in it. So I have 2, negative 4, and 1. And then my second row on the determinant D is 4, 6, and negative 1. And my third row on my determinant D is 1, 1, 2. Now for determinant sub x, what I'm going to do is take out the x coefficients and put in the constants. So I like to, instead of filling in across the row, I'm going to fill in the column. So I'm taking out the 2, 4, and the 1, and putting in, in its place, 19, negative 15, and 11. The other columns are just the same as they were in determinant D, so negative 4, 6, and 1, and then column 3 is 1, negative 1, 2. Now for determinant sub y, I'm going to copy the first column from determinant d. And I'm going to copy the last column from determinant D. And for determinant sub Y, I'm going to replace the second column, which is actually my second, my Y column. I'm going to replace that column with the constants. So I have 19 negative 15, and 11. And then determinant z, I'm going to copy column 1 and column 2. And then I'm going to replace the third column, which is the z column. I'm going to replace that column with my constants. So 19, negative 15, and 11. Now once you have your determinants written, you just need to um, calculate the value of those. I'm going to do that by, I'm going to copy this 2, 4, 1, and then negative.
it 4, 6, 1. And do my diagonals. So I have 2 times 6 times 2 plus. And then my next diagonal. Negative 4 times negative 1 times 1. Plus 1 times 4 times 1. And then subtract from those the diagonal in the other direction, starting up here on the top right. So this diagonal, 1 times 6 times 1. Subtract this diagonal, 2 times negative 1 times 1. Subtract this diagonal, negative 4 times 4 times 2. So I have 2 times 6 times 2 is 24, plus negative 4 times negative 1 times 1 is 4, plus 1 times 4 times 1 is 4, minus 1 times 6 times 1 is 6, minus 2 times negative 1 times 1 is negative 2, minus negative 4 times 4 times 2 is negative 32. These negatives become positive, these negatives become positive. So I have 24 plus 4 plus 4 minus 6 plus 2 plus 32. So determinant D has a value of 60. Circle that so it doesn't get lost in all the calculations. Let's do d sub x. I have 19, negative 15, and 11, and then negative 4, 6, and 1. So this diagonal. 19 times 6 times 2 plus this diagonal, negative 4 times negative 1 times 11 plus this diagonal, 1 times negative 15 times 1. Subtract this diagonal, 1 times 6 times 11. Subtract this diagonal, 19 times negative 1 times 1. Subtract this diagonal. Negative 4 times negative 15 times 2. So I have 19 times 6 times. 
times two. plus negative 4 times negative 1 times 11 plus 1 times negative 15 times 1 subtract 1 times 6 times 11 19 times negative 1 times 1, 19, subtract, negative 4 times negative 15 times 2, 20. D sub X is 90. For the sake of the time limit on this video, I'm just going to solve for X in this system. X is defined as D sub X divided by D. And for future reference, y is d sub y divided by d. And z is d sub z divided by d. And in case you're wanting to do this on your own, this determinant has a value of negative 150. And this determinant has a value of 360. So my x is equal to d sub x, which we calculated to be 90, divided by d. Determinant d has a value of 60. So x is going to be three halves. Y is determinant Y is negative 150 divided by determinant D, which is 60. So Y has a value of negative five halves. And z has the value 360 divided by 60, which means z then is 6. My solution to this system is the ordered triple, 3 halves, negative 5 halves, Six.